Good evening, guys. Bill McMillan here with NDWX.com. The sun is setting on what has been a gorgeous Thursday across the region. Uh, we've needed that, certainly after the wintry day we experienced yesterday and what lies ahead this upcoming weekend. Nice to see the sun out there today, and uh, it's amazing what that will do in March with that higher sun angle, uh, though below normal. It didn't feel that bad out there this afternoon with that uh, sun in place. Thankfully, uh, quiet times will continue tonight and most of our Friday overnight lows tonight will fall to around 30 degrees for most of central Indiana, a couple of spots 30 to 33 degrees, but for all of us, uh, generally in the low 30s with quiet and dry conditions remaining in place, uh, high pressure will be moving off to our east as we go into Friday and that will allow clouds to begin to increase through the day, especially the second half of the day before really lowering and thickening uh, Friday evening. Uh, thereafter, we will notice uh, a cold rain build into central and northern ports of the state late Friday night during the overnight hours and into very early uh, Saturday morning. It's during the pre-dawn hours, I think, that uh, this, this rain begins to transition to uh, heavy wet snow for uh, central and north central portions of the state. And that will continue at a pretty good clip through the morning and really into the afternoon hours Saturday. Uh, we continue to be very impressed with overall banding features here and within those bands of snow don't, uh, don't be surprised to see snowfall rates of potentially up to one to two inches per hour. Additionally the chance of uh, thunder and thunder snow is certainly there as well with some of these convective bands that develop. All in all guys really not a uh, you know a lot of change to our current thinking of the heavy snow zone really through central and north central parts of the state that hasn't changed from where we put that out early this morning. I I'm not saying this entire area is going to see a 6 to 10 inch type snow, but the heaviest snow zone within this area I think does stand the chance of some 6 to 10 inch type amounts. Again, a lot of that may come in really just a few hours uh, as these bands begin to set up uh, Saturday morning into the early afternoon hours. As mentioned, we get back to a quiet uh, close to the weekend, allowing us to, to clean, th clean things up from this heavy snow that will fall across central parts of the state. And also, it's important to note, we are here, obviously, in late March, and uh, even with overcast conditions, uh, that higher sun angle can certainly uh, be our friend, and as we saw yesterday, really eat away at that snowpack. So, certainly going to be a very impressive uh, time of things, I believe, from a wintry perspective, late Friday night through most of our Saturday including, got to mention this too, the potential of winds that will gust upwards of 30 miles per hour. Uh, that'll uh, just kind of exacerbate the current uh, issues with the heavy snow that'll be falling across most of central Indiana as well. That said, uh, given that we are in late March, things will quiet down rather relatively quickly Sunday, and I uh, think that uh, higher sun angle will begin to help eat away at some of that snow as we close the weekend. Guys, make it a great evening. Thank you, as always, for logging on to NDWX.com. We'll talk with you soon.